up, guys? We hit open position that the Chicago Bears got. Y'all see Big Steve O over here with me, bro. What's up, Steve O? Man, hey, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm brushing off the smoke from all the fire last night. Oh my God, it was crazy last night. But we got a solution. But y'all gotta wait till y'all finish hearing this music first, though. You are now tuned in to Chicago Bears Central, your number one place for all Chicago Bears news and content. Ah, welcome to Chicago Bears Central. And today we got we got an opening at the, uh, in a defensive coordinator position for the Chicago Bears. Uh, mm -hmm. First off, we I want to say uh, good luck to Allen Williams if if this stuff is true. But I'm gonna take a man by his word. Uh, I hope to good health and prosperity for you i hope you get back to the nfl when you're done with this battle this battle that you're going through supposedly what you got uh -huh. to say for alan for me? yeah like like i said we've been hearing a lot of crazy rumors around here like you said we're gonna take the man for this word he said he's dealing with a health issue and some family issues and he want to take the time off to do that so we're gonna take his word keep your prayer ups and our prayers until we hear otherwise but yeah, we just hope uh, hope you uh, bounce back and uh, power to you, bro. But we still got a position to feel on this team because Matt Eberflus, he 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 you know he a young you know this is the second he, year he, he don't understand. Yeah, so he we need understand. us a defensive coordinator in there. So Lovey Smith is available, and let me look at his accolades and look at his past coaching experience. Lovey Smith started with the St. Louis Rams in 2003. Is that about the time when that uh greatest? Yep. Uh, yeah. He was uh, with them from 2001 to 2003. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And then, you know, he coached the Bears where he had an 81 and 63 record from 2004 to 2012. Got us to a Super Bowl, uh, Steve-O. Mm -hmm. And then we went, he went on to the Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, where he didn't have a great record there at eight and 24. Then he went and coached for Illinois in 2016. And then last year, uh, he actually did us a solid last year, too. Yo. Hey, a big uh, solid. You know what I'm saying? He helped us with that number one pick. But that's why you see DJ Moore on the team. But now he's um I would say unemployed with the NFL. Who knows what he's doing to mm -hmm. get money? He probably owned property. He he, like he, that. he got money. Yeah, he, got like one thing. he got he he been coaching longer than I've been born. So I know he got bank on top of bank. He cool. Yeah. He don't need to he don't need to coach if he don't want to. Yeah. So so tell 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 me about uh Lovey Smith and his um, fit with the Chicago Bears. It's See. almost a match made in heaven. Because as I don't expect us to change the whole defensive scheme. So um, why not do somebody that taught it for years? And out of everybody, there's only a few people that I've seen have a dominant uh, Tampa 2 defense. And he's one of them. Oh, and yeah. just to show, like, I know you gave a little um, breakdown of his records, but, like, I think as a, a coach, I don't think, like, even as a kid growing up, I didn't understand how good of a coach he was until he was gone. And, like, if you, if you look at the record, we hired him in 2004. In his first year, he went four, 5 and 11, better than what we got now. And then what he do the next year, they jumped all the way to 11 and 5. And after that, 13 and 3. Yeah, That's man. the first three years of Luffy Smith as a – First time ever head coach. And what was the reasons for those records, mainly offense or defense? Defense. <laughs> we got a little scrawny little kid that we thought was going to be safety. And he yeah. said, oh, no. Nah. Brian, you're going to be in that man linebacker. And we're going to turn you into a Hall of Famer. And that's what they did. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Next to Lance Briggs. I ain't finna go down with it because yeah, I could yeah. name the whole defense. Yeah. But, like, yeah, it just, like I said, we're running a, a similar – uh, not it's not exactly um, a Tampa. It is a Tampa too. But it's, a Tampa I, I, it's, too. it's a little. I think he called it a little differently compared to what a Matt Eberflus would do. Yeah. But he know the he know the defense inside and out. Inside uh, he out. know how to make it work. Like I yeah. said, he um, he coached plenty of and made plenty of Hall of Famers off of it. Um, I feel like Charles Tim should be up. It is is he a Hall of Famer? Charles Charles Tillman, uh, I think he is a Hall of Famer. If not, I, he something is, is some, I get a picture of him in a gold jacket, but if he yeah. not, he should be. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, um, he just got a well, if not Hall of Fame, Hall of Famers, Hall of Fame talent. And yeah. um, he he 
they wasn't a lot of these defensive players we had on this team wasn't super high picks and super high everything. He turned them into that. So yeah, like yeah, added it's to bring somebody that's quick. You don't have to wait for nothing. Um and he's familiar with the whole organization. I'm pretty sure. I mean, unless hopefully he there is no bad blood because yeah. we did kind of do him kind of dirty yeah, we did. the way we left him. But um yeah, I, I feel like that would be a perfect fit. Yeah. Um I agree with everything you said. Uh beautifully eloquated by my man steve-o um i'm gonna say it, uh he fits he qualifies for the job in two ways first off his knowledge of the game like my man steve-o said uh especially with the tampa too i think he is a, is a master at the defense of course yeah. different different coaches have had different principles with the mm -hmm. tampa too but it's pretty much the same you're gonna run your linebacker up the middle uh you you protecting everything deep and some some people have different uh principles but i think he has the best principle uh he's won a super bowl with the tampa bay buccaneers uh he had some great talent ronde barber and those guys brooks and those guys um then he came and he got to a super bowl with erlacher briggs mike brown ola oh I can never pronounce that guy. Oh, Gonlawe. I can never pronounce his name. Oh, Gonlawe. Oh, uh, Gonlawe. Number 93. Oh, Gonlawe. Right. You know, our sack our defensive end uh, back then. And Is that Donna J? No, 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 no. Oh, nah. Gonlawe. 93. I, I will get to oh, it. Man. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I think he's the perfect position. That's why he qualifies. He knows the defense. And then the second reason why he qualifies. It just set up so perfectly for Lovey Smith to just it really in. is. <laughs> Do you think he really did us a solid last year on purpose? He didn't I have think, to win that. I game. don't think it was, he was looking a uh, solid for us. It was almost like a f you to the organization because he knew he was getting fired. Yeah, he knew yeah. he was just gonna take the. They was gonna put all the blame on him, and yeah. that was probably the compared to the talent they got around now, like. Yeah. They didn't do any favors by allowing him to do anything. And like, yeah. and like you said, for, for a team to get that win out anyway shows the type of pool he had as a coach and respect Absolutely. he had as a coach. And that's and that's exactly what we need. That's that's another point I want to bring. It seems like I don't we don't know this for sure, but it seems like it's some a, a little small amount of disdain between the players and the coaches, especially with yesterday, what we heard from the uh, quarterback, Justin Fields. Mm -hmm. I think every player that played under Lovey Smith at first respect that man as a leader. Oh, yeah. He's a leader of men. He's not one of those rah-rah guys. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He going to, he going to have a quote of the day or nothing like that, but he's a leader dude. Look how proud he look at that beard. Don't he look like a guy that you could just just follow? You know, I'm not a follower. We ain't followers, we but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, like you know, to be to be a leader, you gotta learn to follow at one point. Yeah, and um, uh, yeah, like that's the one thing about like one the main thing when it comes to it's almost like the last thing. It's the first and the last thing coaches hang on to is the respect because okay. that's the first that you are gonna get, and that's the last that's gonna go. Oh man, if you don't have respect, you. You, you, you can't get nothing it's a fail already. It's a yeah, fail already. if they don't respect you, you're not gonna play right. And they ain't gonna wanna go through they ain't no like telling a like you you can yell all you want to and they don't respect you. They're they not gonna they gonna not gonna make that block that you want them to make. They're yeah. not gonna throw their body into it like you want to. Yeah. When we saw uh Lovey Smith coming as me, coming over to them quietly. And saying y'all know what to do. We we doing to settle down. Uh, remember the principles I done taught you. And execute. They yeah. come back out there. They fly it over the field, and et cetera, et cetera. Because yeah. the respect is there. He leads by example. He's not gonna tell you something that he ain't gonna do himself. He's not gonna hold you to a standard that he's not gonna hold to yourself. And I feel like that's one of the main missing ingredients with this whole organization when it comes to a coaching staff. Nobody is bringing, elevating them on their level. Everybody is almost like being around the same level. And that's not, as a coach, you're not supposed to do that. No, 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 no. It's not supposed to be like that. They supposed to march to the beat of your drum because they know if it was you in that situation, you would do it. And I don't think they believe Matt Foos right now. He didn't teach, he didn't principle. And we seen how he came in first year and they believed it. And yeah. as a whole calendar year goes on, season goes on, 
going into an off season, and now that principle almost looked like it's completely gone. Yeah, fuck that prince. Fuck the hates principle. Excuse my language, because that's what listening. it seemed. Because I don't know. I don't know if you seen um the because I don't know if you on Twitter like that. But uh, Jaqu- uh Jaquan Prisker liked it a tweet, and because yeah. you know uh Stephen A. Smith when I was like the Bears trash is a garbage organization, and that quote was um put up by Daniel Greenberg, and he liked it. I was like, yeah. uh oh. I, I but I, these kids, he's a young guy. These kids. I wouldn't even take it that way right off back because he may be just I'm just I'm just going to bookmark this that you said this and then we're going to be better and I'm going to come back to it. I don't know what he meant by it. I don't I, these young kids. I, I could never understand. You know, understand, you know how brisky he is. Bro. Yeah, I know. He look like he's from 79. Oh, he 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 you know, he is old gremlin. He and his mother to my man. Man, we, man. we suck right now, man. I don't like these but coaches. But, but to be I, honest, like I can't really say that. It's not true. Like I, to be like, I know the whole the whole media is uh, is occupied by the offense right now. Yeah. But I think it's us Chicago fans. We always knew the defense was probably the biggest issue. Oh, always Chicago. And we we, we yeah. like before the even the Allen Williams happened. Everybody was kind of sour on him as a coach. So yeah. I think everything is just starting to come out now because you, well, your leader just came out and aired out his grievances. So everybody like shit. <laughs> I yeah. don't like what's going on either. Yeah, and I would say this though. What about this uh this equation right here? What if Matt Ava flew to be like, nah, that's a threat to me? Maybe if this team ain't going well, they'll just transition to Lovey Smith and he'll have my job. I wish he wouldn't think See, that way. I'm, I'm, but I'm, that's a possibility. It is. It it is. Cause I'm I even heard that um to tie it into like like the situation like that. I even heard that uh Justin had an issue with Tyson being number two. And that's why they made really? Nate. And you and you know, like if you think about it, he was like everybody thought he was a lock for number two. And then the dev chart came out, then re-signed Nathan and put him at two. And we was like, It is strange. That was yeah. weird. Yeah. But then but that, if that's true, that's not good. That's not good, Comer Jay. You should welcome the competition. Be like, yeah, I'm gonna beat you regardless. So I don't even care. And that should be the main. That should be the mindset of Matt Eberflus. Okay, yeah, they they know him and all, but they respect him more. But let me use that to my advantage. That could but probably let, let, you me, let, me, let me put you at through through his point. Like, okay, you know he hearing all the smoke. He got to hear all the smoke. Uh, you can take the evidence from the from the interview or the press conference from yesterday. He hears everything. So he hears everybody, all these, I'm going to call them, it's just inane, it's irrational that y'all think Tyson Bajan can come in and be better than Justin Fields. He went, he it's played at irrational. Shepherd. It's irrational. <laughs> so he like, he listening, like, then y'all going to put this guy in back of me and I'm steady hearing this guy. He's a young kid. He's on Twitter. He's on Instagram. He's on YouTube. He hears all that shit. It might not be realistic. But he hears it. I, I we're not thinking like this young man thinks. So you that that might be uncomfortable, but I agree with you. That's bad for you, Justin Fields. You as you should accept all competition. And pretty much it's it's really no competition because your head and shoulders above the kid. No, don't worry about that kid. I you hope can't that ain't touch true. your yeah. half of your talent. It just yeah. is what it is. And that's that. the and that's the point I made kind of yesterday. I'm like yeah, he might be good at the the pocket things when it comes to because he don't have the physical capabilities he don't, he don't that you have. Do. Yeah, he don't have the talent. But yeah, but this is what I say about Lovey Smith. Uh, you could say, could you say this, uh, Steve? He is a top three coach in uh Chicago Bears history. Oh, without you got a doubt, George Callis. You got without uh, a doubt, um, Dick Buckus. I mean, not uh, is uh not Dick Buckus. Um, I can't believe I forgot his name. The stash. The, it's, yeah, the, I see <laughs> oh his face. God. I should be ashamed of myself. I see bro. his face, but it's that the coach. <laughs> what is his name, bro. bro? That's crazy. I'm old, bro. Bro, that right. That was your time, bro. <laughs> nah, we can't do this. Hold on. We can't do that. Hold What's his name, bro? Uh, Oh man, I'm gonna feel like an idiot uh, when you say it, bro. Oh my god, why is it doing the coach, this? To me? Uh what is his name, man? Bro, uh, bro. hey, forgive me, fans, bro. Oh, forgive me, bro. Mike that's, Dicker. Oh damn, yeah, Mike Dicker, Joe. That's a uh, that's a violation. When I get off damn, here, I don't know why that was wife, so stuck. Yeah, when I get off here, I'm gonna let my wife give me a violation for that. You should never forget Mike Dicker's we name. We can't do that. The coach. But the he coach. is a top 
three coaching Bears history. And I could see the threat, but I think it'll be a great fit for Lovey Smith to just slide right in. He has the knowledge, he got the experience, and he got it, man. I think he'll have the respect from the group, and I think he'll galvanize that defense, and I think they'll play better. And to add, I think it's too much on Eberflus's plate. Talk about Eberflus, and plate. that's my. I'm glad you said the, that end part. It may be t- it's too much going on Eberflus's plate, and he shouldn't be thinking about oh, this a threat to my job. No, you should be thinking like, hey, if he figured this out, I'm a goddamn genius. Oh, bro, Fact. I'm a genius. I mean, you're you're letting your DC call most of the plays anyway. Yeah, that's what that been your philosophy the whole time. I'm gonna be the overseer, and I'm gonna let my coordinators do what they do. So if you're gonna let your coordinators do what they do, uh, why not do, do somebody that's probably doing the Temple uh, Temple Two defense longer than you? Yeah, why not? It, it was gonna make you look better in the end. So yeah, bring he's a shit. It's almost like Cinderella. It's the glass slipper. Man, it's, it's a perfect, perfect story. It's a perfect story, man. It's we perfect. can only dream. Let's see what the Bears do. I think it gotta happen pretty quick. You can't keep putting this workload on Matt Eberflus. It's not fair to him. But what about some other guys, uh, Steve O? Before we get out of here, I mean, it, 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 the guys I the guy I have. We have to wait for him because I don't. I don't. I don't know his contract situation, but Dan Quinn was a guy that I wanted to be my head coach. Dan Quinn is that? He's, is that, that's he's a, the quarter. He's the defensive coordinator for the um, Dallas Cowboys right now, and he okay. was the head coach when um, Atlanta went to the Super Bowl. Okay, okay. He he works at four three defense too. Yeah. I don't, uh, does he? I think he does. He works at four three. I remember. Uh, Man. He was here. Did he go to the Super Bowl with us? Oh, no, 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 no. That's different. That's different. I'm thinking about uh, let me see, Atlanta, Atlanta Falcons. Yeah. I think he runs a 3-4, if I'm not mistaken. 3-4? Yeah. I don't know if that but is. It, but to be honest, like, no, you're right. You was right. 4-3. Yeah, 4-3. Four, four, uh, four, but it was a more, it was like a 4-3 hybrid. Yeah. So I'm thinking more the lines of a Leslie Frazier or... I don't know about Rob Marinelli, but oh, I nah. guess if you want to. I'm wanna, good on Rob. You bro. good on Rob? <laughs> I'm good on Rob. I'm good. He going to nah. break his hip before. <laughs> <laughs> where, where, where the motherf- There's too many young motherfuckers in there. The deep. They go, boy, get your old ass, bro. Why y'all breathe? That's like, that's going to be the equivalent of when uh, we brought in Tola the Russo. Hell no. Nah. Oh, my God. Yeah, oh my god. When you just been away from the game along a little too long, you just need to stay away. Yeah, I agree. I yeah, that's agree. just what it is. But well, yeah, I, I yeah, but um though I don't really have somebody you can pencil in real quick, like right now. You don't like Leslie Frazier? Um yeah, my, not, my uh Minnesota Di- uh Vikings that, that cover two back in the day, you know, when they had them two cold safeties. What's that? It was cool. Man. It was cool, but yeah. it wasn't like, like it was smothering another. Yeah, it was, like, good. It it was cool. good. It was good. It's better than the shit we got. So, yeah. yeah, I, I, sure. so, yeah I, I, anything that would help. Anything. Yeah. I don't yeah. care. But like the, to me, like like we've been saying, the, the right now move is Lovey Smith. Yeah. But what about the staff? What about the players on the staff? What about the coaches on the staff already? You think he go that route? If he, I would say if he was to go that route, he would have did it already. But I think he he doesn't trust them to make the plays. That's why i.e. he's calling the plays since last week. I don't think none of those guys that's on the team already, the coaches, that coaches like the defensive back coach, the linebacker coach, I don't think they're ready. Otherwise, yeah, I, I think gave I think I just think a lot of like when you when you run a risk when you hire a whole full of staff that's not Known for like that, haven't been in that situation before. Yeah, like, that, and then you allowed your head coach to build his own staff. So yeah. a lot of the people he just brung that he was familiar with instead yes, of guys. what the result was, yeah. which is not wrong. Like if any of us would did it, I said any of us would have did it, but like, hey, it's not working. So yeah, I to be honest, everybody on this staff is not safe in my opinion. It shouldn't be. A hundred percent. I agree. Um, it's and I mean, in- from the damn kicking coach. Oh, <laughs> now he's talking my language, gang. Y'all know already. That's why I, I said it. <laughs> he's talking my language, gang. <laughs> hey, but uh, it's gonna be very interesting to see. I think this gotta happen pretty quick if they're gonna do it. Like, 
the next mm-hmm. week or two. They got to get a another yeah. They guy should in. like they like they had to be on his phone call. Yeah. his number right now. But but one more quick question. Yeah, do you think whatever that just happened? Does anybody is everybody scared of this organization now? Like just scared of of, of to come here? Boy, that's a great question, Steve. Uh, they can look at it like it's it's very toxic right now. But money talks like a motherfucker. I ain't trying to hear. It. Yeah, because you know I heard uh, I was listening to Brandon Marshall and he was like, you know, he was like, it might me, it might be me from being a little salty because I thought I was gonna retire a bear, but he said he was here uh for one of our games. This year and um they brought he brought them out they came out for halftime and stuff like that and then they was like what's your what's your um <laughs> what's your uh new uh, address uh we gonna see some bear stuff he was like man i don't want that shit now y'all ass got some shit going on that y'all need to fix <laughs> y'all, you got some shit. y'all need to fix i said i already blame you for saying that dog y'all to be know. honest Y'all know Brandon, bro, but you know, yeah, yeah, know yeah, Brandon a little yeah. off, bro. He a little off, bro. I love Brandon Marshall. I love Brandon. I definitely love Brandon. Bro. Hey, man, this has been a good convo with my man, Steve-O. Let's get Lovey Smith in here fast, man. man. Bring him I in, think, bro. I think the city will love it. It's great for the, I think it's great for the kids. Hey, it would definitely bring the morale up, though. Yeah, yeah, it'll bring the morale for the team. I, I for the whole city need a boost of morale, to tell you the truth. Uh, yeah. So we'll see what happens in a, uh, and the real uh the real recent future that's the wrong word in the coming future we'll see what's going on so this been a video for chicago bear central make sure y'all get in tune with my man steve oak speaks go follow him on twitter and catch him on all the vids on chi town sports central coming y'all know where y'all can find me at chicago bear central everything on chi town sports central and chi boys podcast it's a number but y'all better know the number because i don't know it so y'all better know that number on bro and hit us up if y'all have any uh questions comments hit us up and we'll catch y'all on the next one peace I tuned in to Chicago Bears Central, your number one.